Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mindful Homestead. Come on in. Where's your shoes? Oh, you're not gonna wear shoes? Okay. No shoes for Emma. It's a beautiful Saturday here on the homestead. Kids running through the grass unimpeded by shoes. The sun kinda out right now. It's been in the clouds kind of in and out all day. It's a great day. Uh, it is spring. We are itching to garden. And earlier this year, after a great sale, which was further made better by using the Stivers coupon code, we got some of these things. I feel like I feel like you're not a real homesteader unless you have a green stock planter somewhere on your farm. We're gonna set them up and maybe plant them because we're going to your parents for Mother's Day tomorrow. Yeah. You're not gonna have time to do all your Mother's Day planting. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But the first things first, we're gonna get these things out. I've got all the potting soil we'll need. They say to use a high quality potting soil. And I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna throw it in the tractor, I'm gonna bring it over. Jackie's gonna get these, start getting these set up here on the deck where they're gonna live. And then we'll figure out if we're gonna plant them today. We ordered two five-tier planters, one of the leaf, which is the smaller one, and one of the original, which is the bigger one. The plan's just to mix and match them and have them kind of like multi-tiered, different, you know, a, a regular size, a leaf one, a regular size, a leaf. Um, and do it that way. First thing to do though is to get these filled with a high quality potting mix. Got it in the tracker bucket, so we're gonna fill those up. Happy birthday! Wow, what did I get? Got you a bunch of stuff. <laughs> kind of a smattering. Can I have your shovel, please? Yeah. The blue one. I need the blue one. You can have it after I'm done. I just gotta split these guys. You can see why they say plant them before you stack them. They say plant them before you stack mm -hmm. them? Yeah. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> well, I mean, we I mean, you can unstack them. Well, yeah, and we weren't planting everything today. Well, let's unstack so. them then. No, it's fine. I got it in. Okay. Finn, stay over here. She did not tell me that it says to plant first in the instructions. like envisioning like alternating a few flowers in here too. I almost got you flowers. To make them look pretty. So I'm going to do it every other. Pansies would be really, not pansies, um, petunias would be really pretty because they'll flow out. Mm -hmm. I missed all the lettuce planting. Oh, I thought you were going to do two. Oh, I can, hold up. Well, I don't want to They're actually not as heavy as you would think. They no, but they are kind of like. They are, they're heavy, but they're really not. They're not that heavy. They're not that bad. I picked the red kale for no reason other than I thought it looked cool. Yeah. I don't even know if you can eat it. Are you serious? I yeah. I don't even know if it's like an edible kale or if it's like a. Decorative. Yeah. Yeah. Salads and light cooking. There you go. Maturity 25 days. 25 days? Oh, excuse me. Baby. 50 days to mature. Oh, they 
look so cool once they're starting to get planted. You're off a little bit. Okay, you just kind of hold. There we go. Oop, oop. What are you on your side? They're good. They have space. Get over here. Yeah. Cool. So far, I'm liking the green stalks. They're easy on my back. And even when I'm bending down like I am right now, they're pretty easy to work with and I don't have to move all around. I can just spin them, which is pretty cool. They're easy to fill. They're not really that heavy either, um, as you think that they might be with all this soil. You don't actually crush them though. That's the cool part is that you think that you do, but they're they've got oh, it like so good. they've got like a little cave in there that protects them. I like time. I mean, sure it's great for cooking, but I like the way it looks. Yeah, because it creeps too. Yeah, it's pretty. These are cool. They have pull apart. Oh, that's cool. Uh, things. Oh, you get two for each one too. So if you split it. Well, like yeah. Could... This has the recipes on it. Time stuffed mushrooms. See. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Tiny deep green leaves are highly scented when rubbed. Used to flavor fish, poultry, soups, vegetables, beans, lentils, tomatoes, and eggs. Lentils? To dry, hang upside down in small bunches in a cool, dark place. Have you ever had a lentil? I think so. Yeah, your mom makes lentil soups. Oh, yeah. She loves them. I like lentils. Joni loves the lentils. So now you can take the other one. And just boop. Isn't that fancy? You can hear it watering. And then the extra grains. Right out there. I don't know how much water you're supposed to put in. I just filled it up to the top, not the top top, but like the top line up there. What do you think? I like them. What do you think? I think they're cool. Yeah, I really like the way they look. I think they're really pretty. They're gonna look even better when everything's growing out. Like when it's cascading over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's all super green. I like that we got the terracotta too. Yeah, terracotta is my favorite. Even and, for just regular potted and plants. the purple one's my favorite. The purple ones? Which plant is that? Um, that one. Is, Here, uh, show me. Show the camera. Like, we'll point to it. The purple kale. Do you remember what that's called? Yeah. What? Purple kale. Or red kale. It smells like um. That smells good. That smells good. That's the thyme. That's not eggplant. That's lettuce. That's lettuce. You're just making up names. You're this not making lettuce. up names, but you're just calling stuff whatever you want. Is this is lettuce. That's a spinach. That's spinach. And this is agway. Agway. <laughs> well, that's where they came from, right? Do you think if you were confined to city gardening, this is something you would do? Oh, absolutely. Like, without hesitation. I think this is, this is a no-brainer. And, and the fact that you can do all your, all your edible plants. Like, you don't have to just do herbs. 
Yeah. There's, there's tons of options. It seems like most of the stuff you Emma, would no, 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 plant no. and eat in a garden you could grow in here. You just need to tailor your varieties a little bit. Lettuce. Um, Stop. You know, lettuce is no. good. A lot of herbs are good. Eggplant. You can grow eggplant. You know, everything works. You just need to kind of tailor it a little bit and see, you know, if, if you, if you're not going to throw like a big indeterminate tomato in here, that's going to grow eight feet tall. But if you get a smaller bush tomato, uh, varieties like micro toms and things like that, they'd work perfect. Pretty much anything you would, I think that we plant, I think everything on there we've planted. We planted, we planted broccoli, and I think what's cool about these for us this year is that we did dedicate a lot of the garden to things that take a long time. Like we've got the onions, we've got an entire raised bed devoted to onions. We've got our strawberry patch. We've got an entire raised bed now devoted to asparagus, which is gonna be permanent. That doesn't go anywhere. And then the garlic, we have a four by four. So really that only leaves us in the garden got our trellising things. Like we've got the, tr yeah, trellis, like pole beans and cucumbers. Um, we've got one for that. And then we've got, but we've got two other beds, really. We've yeah, only... well, I got to do some tomatoes in there. This yep. year I'm going to try it again. We're going to try tomatoes again. Emma wants to go to her goldfish. Oh, go to the goldfish. Go ahead, Finn, stay. Go upstairs and go potty. This gives us real estate now to grow the things we want to grow in the garden that really need to be grown in a raised bed. We can grow lots of other things here and, like, and free up that up space. Like, they take up a lot of space. Like, all of the greens always took up a ton of space. Now yeah. Now they're in here. So it leaves us more creativity back there. Yeah, for longer term stuff. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for coming along on our green stock planting journey. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>